Yeah, I hope uh, everybody gets in their workout today because really this next hour is just going to be a Q&A with Coach Jordan. <laughs> it's like a coffee social. I got the coffee. Yeah. We'll, start with, we'll start with how old are you really, Jordan? What's that? <laughs> we'll start with how old are you actually? <laughs> 17. I knew it. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'll go ahead and mute everybody. And Eric, go ahead and unmute yourself. All right. We're good, Eric? Yes, sir. All right. So let's get started with the warm up. Starting off with butt kicks. Okay. So Ease into this workout. All right, here we go in three, two, one, and butt kicks. Just having the arms relaxed. And then we're gonna switch to marches in three, two, one. So not jumping, just raising that leg up, keeping that toe pointed towards the floor. Good warm up for the hip hip flexors, quads. Good morning, Joan. We're just starting with the warm up. Okay, and then we're gonna switch to jumping jacks in three, two, one, and jumping jack. Next, we have steel jacks. That's when the arms are straight out. And then we come out to the side in three, two, one, and arms out, and then out as you go down. You could also step out too, that's an option. A few more seconds here, three, two, one, go ahead, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. So this workout is gonna be similar to last week's uh, on Wednesday. We're gonna have dynamic times, which Eric will be in charge of so you don't have to worry about counting reps or sets or anything. Um, but it is a full body strength and conditioning workout. So have your dumbbells ready, have your bands ready. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a neck roll, working our way down, okay? So look down, tuck the chin, and then nice and easy, we're gonna look over our right shoulder. Eyes over that right shoulder, look back down, and then to the left, okay? So we're gonna go four or five times on each side at your own pace. So look down, look to the left, look down, look to the right. Few more on each side. Last one. And then arms out to the side, fingertips to the ceiling, arm circles. Okay. So 10 to 15 forward, 10 to 15 backward. Morning, Katie. If you're just jumping in, we're, we're going ahead with our warm up and then we'll get started in a moment. Go ahead and switch it up. Go in reverse now. Three, two, one, go ahead, set the feet, Sho uh, hips, shoulder width apart, toes slightly out, arms out like a scarecrow, and then you're gonna just rotate the hip, rotate that torso, turning that foot. So rotating the whole way, just warming up the hip flexors, warming up that lower back. One more on each side. And let's go hip circle. So we're gonna go here, drive the leg up, turn to the side, and then back forward. Okay, so what we're doing, just making, keeping it 90 degree angle as you turn, and then set it down. Just warming up the hips, hip flexors. 
So five to six on each side, and then we'll switch legs. Okay, last one. Hits are popping. And very last stretch, I always do this since we're gonna be in like plank or push up position, clasp the hands. So 10 circles clockwise, 10 circles counterclockwise. All right, once you guys get done, eyes over here, I'll go through that first circuit. So it's gonna be three different circuits, three rounds each circuit, dynamic time. So we're gonna start off with 25 seconds the first round. Second round is gonna go 20 seconds each exercise, and then last round 15 seconds. So if you want to up the intensity by increasing weight, going faster uh, in pace, you can do that as well, okay? So first exercise, I'll show you guys with the dumbbell and band version. Start off light. So we're going to go quadruped row. So almost similar, it's uh, similar to the renegade row, but we're not going to go legs straight. We're going to go knees right under your hips, okay? So you're going to load one shoulder, pull right to the hip, and then alternate sides. Okay, now if that's too much, you could go wide stance with the renegade row. If that's still too much, you could go lawnmower row here as well. Okay, if you have a band, you could do the same thing. Just having one hand on top of the band, other arm on the handle, and then you're just gonna be working one side, and then when Eric calls halfway, you'll switch to the other side. Okay, so a couple options there. The next one, we're gonna go alternating side lunge. So this is a knee friendly exercise, but if this still bothers the knees, I'll show you guys what we'll do once we get there. But you only have one dumbbell. You're gonna lunge to the side, keeping that toe forward, hips go back, not knee forward. Hand it off to the other side. Okay, so 25 seconds, I'll show you from the side. So again, not knee forward, you want the hips to go back. Now, if you only have bands, similar muscle groups, we're just gonna go here, front hold, and then just side to side, keeping tension on that band the whole time, only if you have bands. And then very last one, I'm gonna use a band here. Uh-oh, Eric, could you still see me? Yeah, you're good. All right. I'm gonna use a band here. The band is optional. So I'll show you from the side. We're gonna go here on the floor, knee tuck in, band is at the bottom, and then up and over. So knee, uh, legs high, legs low. Legs high, legs low. You don't really necessarily need the band. You could go hands on the floor too, okay? So the band option is a little bit more challenging. So those are the three exercises, 25 seconds each, starting off with that quadruped row. All right, 25 seconds. First circuit here. Here we go, get set with our row and begin. So you're essentially on all fours, knees are elevated slightly off the floor and you're alternating rowing. Drive the elbow up towards the ceiling, tight to your side. And if you're using bands, go ahead and switch sides there, we're halfway through. Short time for three, two, one, and switch. Going to alternating side lunges. 25 seconds. Here we go, get set and go. Nice big step out to the side. Hip goes back. To Just handing the weight off right in the middle keeping the toes forward. And like Jordan had mentioned, this can be knee friendly also if you focus more on the hinge portion of it. So hips going back, slight knee bend. Off to a nice start here. Nice big step out to the side. Short time going to our knee tucks in three, two, one, and switch. So seated on the mat or on the floor. I'll show you guys from the front here. So. Again, if you have a band, you could use a band, a towel, a shirt. 
25 seconds, get set and begin. So knee tucks out, extending the legs, keeping that tall posture up and under. Nice, looks like we're doing a nice job keeping chest back. So we're gonna make it a little bit tougher here. Short time, five seconds, and then we're back to our rows in three, two, one, and switch. Awesome, so awesome. We're down to 20 seconds each exercise. So you guys have the option to go heavier or stay the same. Here we go, 20 seconds on the row, get set and go. Yeah, and if this bothers the wrists or shoulders at all, we could just switch to a regular lawnmower as well. Halfway if anybody's using bands, otherwise keep going, alternating side. Knees just off the floor. Three, two, one, and switch. Going to our side lunges, lateral lunges. I'll show the band option this time, just in case anybody's using bands. I'm trying to see it for everybody we have on screen nobody's using bands get set okay go. so go ahead in your uh, lateral lunge there if you have dumbbells alternating sides nice lower your level hips go back chest naturally comes forward awesome short time three two one and switch to our core exercise those knee tucks Transition here, get set, and go. 20 seconds. That's good control here all the way through. Three, two, one, and switch. Nice. Back up to our feet. Go in alternating rows. Just 15 seconds on this last circuit. Right, After last. this round, we have conditioning, and I'll show you guys those exercises once we get there. So adjust the weight accordingly here if you want to go up for the last 15 seconds or go down because it's the third set. Get set and go. Just 15 seconds. You can get maybe five or six on each side here. There's going to be a little bit of weight shifting just because you're going to one side and the other. Just thinking hand underneath the shoulder. Knees just off the floor, short time here. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Up to our feet for our lateral lunge. Last set on this exercise. 15 seconds, get set and go. Good control even on this third set. And when doing those lunges, guys, keep those eyes straight ahead. Tall posture, not rounding the back. Short time all the way through. Three, two, one, and switch to our knee tucks. Last 15 second go here and then jumping right into conditioning. Get set and go. Even on this last set, you could put a little tension on the band. Focus on bringing your chest to your knees, knees to chest. Here we go, short time. Three, two, one, and switch. Watching Jordan. Right, conditioning, guys. Two exercises, two rounds, dynamic timing again. First round, 25 seconds each exercise. Second round, 15 seconds. First one, we're gonna go drop squats, okay? A little bit higher level. This is gonna take a little bit of co coordination. So you're gonna start uh, narrow stance, land narrow stance, switch to wide at the bottom, okay? So now if that's too much on the knees, you could go high knees, moving side to side. Very last one, floor jacks. So you're gonna go here, hands under the shoulders, as fast as you can, feet in and out. Okay, so starting with those drop squats. Here we go, 25 seconds, jumping right in here, drop squats or high knees, get set, and go. Too hard here, kind of switching gears in cardio mode, thinking about getting our heart rate up. 
And if you're watching Jordan, he's switching his stance only at the bottom. So go wide, jump, narrow, jump. Takes a little bit of coordination. Short time going to floor jacks in three, two, one, and switch. Nice, nice. Follow Jordan, hands under the shoulders, and go. 25 seconds. Now you can hop your feet out to the side. Doesn't have to be super wide. Still under control, good speed. Hips and back are straight in our push up plank position. And for a little lower impact, you could always tap one at a time going out to the side. Nice. Rep them out here. Rep them out. Short time, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Back up to our feet for drop squats or high knees. Dropping it down to 15 seconds on each, then we'll switch circuits. Get set and go. See how many you can get here. 15 seconds, short burst. Nice. Switching your stance at the bottom. Time two, one, and switch to our floor jacks. Well done. Way to rock this one. First one out of the way in just a moment here. 15 seconds, get set, and go. Hips and back, stay straight, maintain that plank. A little core cardio combo here. Five seconds all the way through. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Grab a quick drink here. Good work, guys. All right. Nice job. Quick drink, and then we'll watch Coach Jordan. He's going to take us through circuit B. Okay, eyes over here, please. So this next one, we usually use our, we usually put our feet up on the bench, okay? So this is a knee-friendly quad dominant exercise, but we'll, I'll show you guys um, the floor version since not all of us have uh, workout benches at home. So I'm gonna go dumbbells each hand, bench hack squats, okay? I'm using dumbbells just for more range of motion. So this is going to be, the exercise. So dropping the knees down, hips go to uh, hips go up to the sky, squeezing the quads for a little bit more intense intensity. You could go one leg, and then just having that knee tucked. Okay, we'll switch halfway. So that's the first exercise. Second, I prefer the bands here, but if you do have dumbbells, you could do the same thing. So if you need more resistance. Just make a loop. The feet, the closer your feet are to the handles, the more resistance it's going to be. So you're gonna go here, set the shoulders. You're gonna go two rows, one, two, arms extended, one deadlift. Two rows, one deadlift, keeping your core engaged the whole time, especially on the way down, okay? And then last one, we're gonna go twi uh, 25 seconds, Per side, so hopefully you guys can see this. You're gonna go plank position. We're gonna go right leg first to that opposite elbow, back and then to that right elbow. So opposite, same side, opposite, same side. All one side and then switch, okay? So single leg mountain climber for that last one. So first exercise, we're gonna get ready for those bench hack squats. All right, just to clarify, Jordan, is it 15 or a halfway switch or 25 on each side? On the bench, bench hack squats? Yeah. Halfway switch. Okay. So you could go two legs or one leg at a time. Okay, perfect. All right. 25 seconds starting with the bench hack squat here with Jordan. Whether you're doing both legs or single leg, get set and go. And making sure you're squeezing the quad at that top movement. So Jordan has his hands under his shoulders and uh, not so much worrying about kicking the ceiling with the other leg. That one can stay tucked. We're focusing on the one that's grounded. We're halfway, so if you're doing single leg, switch sides. You're focusing on extending the knee and then under control on the way back. Three, two, 
one and come on up to your feet. We got our two rows, one deadlift combo, two rows, one deadlift, whether you have handles or dumbbells. If you're using dumbbells, so Jen, I'd say maybe 20s here. Get set and go. Shoulder blades back, two rows, arms extended, deadlift. Two rows and then come on up nice and tall out of your deadlift. Yep, two rows, one deadlift. Nice, awesome. Keeping your weight back when you come out of your deadlift and while you're wrong. Good. While we would like a good pace on this one, control and form is the most important. Two, one, and switch to our mountain climbers here. So push up plank position, opposite elbow, and then same side, opposite elbow, same side. Anchoring in on one side, 25 seconds piece, get set, and go. So in a push up position, go across body, and then same side. Just all one side here. One seconds here. Hips and back stay straight the entire time. Make sure we're breathing, thinking short little exhales. Switch sides in two, one, and switch. 25 seconds on the other side. Kind of a couple reps to get the form down, and then you can up the pace from there. Opposite elbow, same side. Opposite side, same side. Short time, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and switch it up. Round two, going 20 seconds a piece, single leg or both legs for bench hack squat. Shake it out if you have to for a moment there. And yeah, this one's really lower body heavy. So. Here we go, round two, 20 seconds here. Hit that and go. Remember and you don't have to do that one, sorry, Eric. You don't have to do that. One leg, you could go two legs as I am doing as well. Keep going, keep going. That's 10 seconds, so halfway switch if you haven't already. Really focusing on the quads here, squeezing the quads, front of the thighs. Two, one and switch. Row and deadlift combo here. Two poles to deadlift, two poles to deadlift. Adjust the weight accordingly based on that first set. This is 20 seconds here, get set and go. Nice, and a lot of flat backs while we're rowing, that's awesome. So keep it core tight, short little exhale on each row, and then crisp hip snap coming out of the deadlift. And even with the rows, guys, you should still feel it in the hamstrings. Hips should go back, legs not locked, keep a slight bend. Short time, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and switch. Well done. 20 seconds on our mountain climbers. And real quick, Eric, sorry. And then with that first uh, side, if you can't, if you could stop, if you uh, don't have an, enough range of motion to go all the way, just stop right here, making sure we're not rounding that back. All right, round two, get set and go. A little bit easier on the wrist too. You could always go to a plank position and just do the uh, uh, the wide one instead of going cross body. You could just go out to the side. If you don't want to have to be you know weight bearing on the wrists like that. Switch sides in two, one, and switch. Go ahead, switch sides, opposite side, same side. Go ahead. Twenty seconds here. Short time all the way through five seconds, four, three, two, one, and switch. Well done. Awesome, awesome. Coming up on round three here, go ahead and shake it out for a moment just because we're going to be going back to a similar position here. And because this is a short 15 second go, let's go ahead and all go both feet grounded for this bench hack squat instead of just a few seconds on each. 15 seconds, both legs, good form, good speed at the end here. Follow Jordan on this one, get set, and go. So both feet are grounded. Good. 
Drive the knees towards your hands and then extend. Hips up towards the ceiling. Good. Make a conscious engagement, squeezing the quads. Short time here, short time, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Nice. Excellent. Back to our row and deadlift combo. Use dumbbells this time, just to switch it up. Get set and go. Two rows to one deadlift. Just 15 seconds should be able to get, maybe shooting for maybe five or six here. Row, row, and then drive through the heels. Engage ah. the hamstrings short time. Squeeze in one more here. Three, two, one, and switch to our mountain climber. Excellent. This is 15 seconds a piece, and then we are going back into our conditioning cycle here. Get set, first side, and go. Just 15 seconds here. Good form, good speed. Hips and back stay straight. Two, one, and switch. Switch sides there. Awesome, five seconds, and then we're coming up to our feet and going into our drop squats. Two, one, and switch. Nicely done. Oh, buddy. Up, up to our feet. Let's knock out some conditioning before we get a drink here. So high knees or the drop squats. 25 seconds. Get set. And go. Kind of switching gears here. Good form. Good speed. Nice. Good. And I see Colleen made a good modification for lower impact on this. Instead of hopping, you could step out and step in for the stance change. Excellent, excellent. Short time here. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and switch to the floor. We've got floor jacks. So you can do this in a push up position or plank position. And you could hop it out or step it out. 25 seconds. Get set and go. And then with these floor jacks, guys, add the fingertips spread out really gripping the floor safer on the shoulders that way five seconds make those little readjustments even towards the end here hips nice and low two one and switch back up to our feet down to 15 seconds a piece 15 seconds on each exercise drop squats or high knees deep breath get set and go just 15 15 second burst here see how many you can get there you go. Short time, short time all the way through. Three, two, one, and switch. Got our floor jacks, 15 seconds, and we'll grab a drink. Doing really well here. Get set and go. There we go, form looks really good all across the board here. Hips and backs are straight. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great awesome. job, guys. Great job. Two circuits down, circuit C, last circuit coming up here. This last circuit is my favorite circuit. All right, guys, quick drink, and I'll show you guys the last one. Very last circuit. Eric, you can still see me over here? Yep. All right, cool. Okay, so this next one, we're gonna go side plank with a hip abduction, okay? So if you don't have, these are the ones we usually do with mini bands. So you could either go body weight, just concentrating on that form, straight line from that bottom elbow, to that knee, just concentrating on range of motion. But if you need more of a challenge, grab a light dumbbell and then just have it rested on that top leg, okay? If you still need more of a challenge, 
the closer the dumbbell is to that knee, the harder it's gonna be. So we're gonna go 25 seconds one side, 25 seconds the other side. That second exercise, we're gonna go body extensions. Again, 25 seconds. We're gonna start off with a light dumbbell. You can go heavier if you need to on the later rounds, but wide stance, toes out. You're gonna squat down and then swing up, stopping right just above the forehead, keeping those arms straight and stopping that dumbbell, stopping the momentum using your core. Okay, so we're not going over the head, arching the back here. Now, if that's too much on the knees, you could hinge back, do the same thing, almost like a kettlebell swing, okay? And then the last one, which is my favorite, we're gonna go curl series. We're gonna break, down, break the rules a little bit. It's gonna be 15 seconds each step. So we did, we did this a few weeks ago. We're gonna go uh, hammer grip, so palms facing each other the whole time. We're gonna hold for 15 seconds. Okay, so tension on the bicep, keeping that 90 degrees with the elbow. And then after 15 seconds, we're gonna curl with two dumbbells. And then the last 15 seconds, we're gonna drop one dumbbell, curl with one dumbbell. Okay, just holding the ends like so for that last part. Okay, so that's the last circuit, guys. Strong finish, starting with that side plank. All right, side planks here. Again, you can put a weight on the side that is up towards the ceiling, maybe like a 10 or a 15. Or even lighter. But make or, sure yeah. that, uh, that uh, your body is straight, knee all the way down to that elbow. Absolutely. Katie, I saw you had mini bands there. If you do have mini bands, you go above the knees, above the knees on this one. Yep. Get set and go. 25 seconds on each side here. Keeping that down. elbow right under the shoulder. Yep, going all the way down with the hips. 25 seconds is a long time. Whew. Nice, Colleen. Yep, all the way to the floor, then up towards the ceiling. Very, very good. And switch sides. Go ahead and switch sides. Take a moment to get set here, whether you face the other way or just go ahead and switch it up. Knees are bent. Get set. And go. And this is one that we do at the gym, right? So it's like two motions in one. So you're coming up off the floor with your hip and breaking apart that imaginary band or if you have a band on. Uh-oh, boss man just pulled in. Quick, everybody do something. Just kidding. <laughs> Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and switch. We'll go full body extension, so up to our feet. If you have a dumbbell, great. Maybe like a five, 10 pound dumbbell doesn't have to be super heavy. We're reaching from the floor to the ceiling, very similar to a kettlebell swing. If you don't have a dumbbell, body weight's perfectly fine here. Just tapping towards the ankles, towards the shins, get set and go. 25 seconds here. So bending at the knees, hips go back, reach for the floor, reach for the ceiling. Reach for the floor, reach for the ceiling. Yep. There we go. Again, stay light with the weight. It's about a fast pace here. I know Art usually uses like an 85 with this exercise. <laughs> No 85s for this one, Art. <laughs> I need you for two more rounds. Two, one, and switch. There you go. Do our curl series. So if you have dumbbells, this is going to be a lot of reps, so maybe 10s, um, 10s to 20s, so in that range. You could always adjust on the next set. And bands, band of your choice. You could always change your foot position. So 15 seconds each. So first, just holding it at 90 degrees. Get set and go. Pull it up, following Jordan there, yep. Elbows I'm rounding up. the shoulders here, guys. Keep the shoulder blades back. 90 degrees. We're kind of locked in here. In five seconds, we're gonna start repping them out with the same grip that Jordan has there, then rep two, one, and go ahead, rep them out here. Curling both dumbbells, 15 seconds. Doesn't have to be lightning quick, but also doesn't have to be really slow. So kind of find that happy medium, rep them out here. Not using momentum. Keep those elbows locked in. Short time. Three, two, one. Ditch one dumbbell. <laughs> Your one remaining dumbbell by the ends, like Jordan is there. Get set and go. Rep them out here for 15 seconds. Keeping your eyes straight ahead. Chin tucked. Elbows squeezing your body. 
give yourself direct feedback for next circuit if you need to go up or down and wait. Two, one, and switch. So we are back to our side planks here. Side planks, 20 seconds on each side. Get that and give you guys another moment here and go. 20 seconds on each side. If you do have a dumbbell and you're adding resistance, try to put it a little bit closer to your knee, kind of like Jordan has here. And that'll actually put a little bit more of a lever on the hip, make it a little tougher. Two, one, and switch. Switch sides here, give you guys a moment. And you can start all the way on the floor with your hip, just like Jordan is. And you'll always return to that spot. Get set and go. 20 seconds. So fire up. It's kind of like that quick spark. Break the band apart and then return to the floor to the mat. And again, very easy to sink your hips back. But you want to keep your core engaged, keeping a straight line. Bottom elbows to knee. Short time going to our full body extensions in two, one, and switch. Nice. Just one dumbbell if you have dumbbells. Excellent, 20 seconds here. Here we go, get set and go. Again, you could hinge back to if, uh, the wide stance bothers the knees, but keeping that chest up, eyes straight ahead. Nice, these are looking awesome. Everybody has good, nice wide stance, hips are going back, reaching up for the ceiling. Not hyper extending, just reaching up. Excellent, two, one, and switch. Got our curls now. Curls are next. All right. Going up to 90 degrees, holding it in three, two, one, and go. 15 seconds here. This is staying 15 seconds the entire three rounds. Good. Elbows tight to your side. Like Jordan said, shoulders are back. Short time, repping them out in three, two, one and go ahead, rep them out. Just trying to keep the elbow joint in one spot. You got it, Katie. Looks good. Awesome, awesome. And go ahead and ditch one, Ooh. hold the other. Let's go quick transition here. Let's get a burnout. And go, 15 seconds. Rep them out here, rep them out. There we go. Awesome, awesome. From your waist to your Keeping chin. Keeping your eyes straight ahead as well. I know you want to stare at that arm, especially the guys out there. You want to stare at your own arm, but keep your eyes straight ahead. <laughs> That's why we tell RDS to wear sleeves. <laughs> Two, one, and switch. Back to our side plank. Last round. <laughs> 15 seconds on each side. Last round here. 15 seconds. Get set and go. I don't think anybody laughs harder at their own jokes than me. <laughs> it's a skill at this point. <laughs> Two, one, and switch sides. Go ahead and switch sides. Give you guys a moment there. Get set and go. Just 15 each. Get that quick spark, right? That initial drive up from the floor. Kind of flows into the rest of the movement here. Five seconds, we're going to our full body extensions in three, two, one, and switch. And then guys, it's only 15 seconds, but keep the weight the same. If you need to up the intensity, just go faster pace, but I want you guys to keep the weight the same for these body extensions. Get set. And go. Wrap them out of here. Almost, Jen. We'll be there in just a moment. <laughs> reach up. Exhale as you reach towards the ceiling. Short burst here. Wrap them out. Wrap them out. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And to our curl combination here. Still 15 seconds on each of the three segments here. 
All right, holding it at 90 degrees, get set and go. So kind of locked into place. Those weights start to drop, readjust, deep breath, and concentrate on holding those right where they are. Short time, repping them out in two, one, and go. Rep them out here, rep them out. Oh, man. There we go, going down to one dumbbell and two, one, and switch. Ditch one, hold on to the other. Yeah, buddy. Go ahead, burn it out 15 seconds right here. Go ahead, rep them out here. Rep them out. There we go. Well done. Once we're done with the, these, uh, this 15 second burst here, we are going into our conditioning cycle. Three, two, one, and switch. Oh, Excellent. Great job, guys. Awesome, awesome. Go ahead, follow Jordan here. Going into conditioning, we've got our drop squats or our high knees. 25 seconds, get set, and begin. Really pushing the pace here. Last two rounds of conditioning. Here we go, wrap them up. If you can, lower your level into that squat. Change your stance and fire out hard. Five seconds, four. Three, two, one, and switch. Floor jacks here. So push up or plank position. Whether you're on the floor, on a step, or a bench, or bed, get set and go. You can hop it or tap it. Taking hands or elbows underneath your shoulders. There we go. Rep them out here. Rep them out. Good. Seeing everybody's hips and backs are straight. Excellent. Good form, good speed at the end here. 10 seconds. Watch it, guys. Strong finish. Short time. Three, two, one, and switch. Nice job, nice job. Last round, last round. 15 seconds on each exercise, starting with drop squats or high knees. Get set and go. There we go, see how we can get here even at the end. Narrow jump, long jump. Short time all the way through. Three, two, one, and switch. All right. To our floor jacks. Last 15. All right. Here we go. Get set and go. 15 seconds. Knock them out here. Knock them out. Quick taps. Doesn't have to be super wide. More about keeping our hips and back straight. There we go, strong finish here, strong finish, all the way through, five seconds, four, three, strong finish. Two, one, and time. Done. Excellent. Great job, nice guys. Job, guys. <laughs> nice job, not easy by any means, well done. Way to crush that one. Awesome, awesome. Katie, Jen, Colleen, awesome. Brad, Joan, as always, Art, nicely done. Lori, nice to see you this morning, Lori, awesome. Vincent Brittany, well done. Awesome, awesome.